Alright guys, so there's been a lot of conflicting opinions on the Arcanist class, whether it is meta, whether it's balanced, or maybe it just needs a little love. Even myself, I'm guilty of changing my opinion, but nothing pales in comparison to what I'm about to show you. Zenimax has to step in and fix this feature, because if it does not, the class will be unplayable in all facets of the Elder Scrolls Online. So, let's talk about it. Welcome back, and before we hop into the bread and butter of today's short video, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently on my Patreon and YouTube. You guys are phenomenal, and if you want to help support the channel, the best way to do so is with a simple like and sub, and occasionally I do produce some you know, pretty decent content. So why am I making this video, guys? Well, first of all, I love the Arcanist. It is awesome. The synergy is there. The class kit is absolutely amazing. The graphics is stellar. It, it, it is just a well thought out class and, and I absolutely love it. But the class will be unplayable. Um, there, there's one spell in particular, which is like, you guys already know the Kamehameha, right, of the Elder Scrolls Online. This ability, while it is your main source of burst, is is very, very, I don't want to say, it is very server dependent. Um, and also, if you're on controller, the aim assist is kind of wacky, so um, this class is going to be very difficult for you to play on controller, and depending on your connection, it is going to be equally even more difficult to play. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. And also, if you want to see my ass get packed up in some duels on the PTS, I'll toss that at the end of the video. Go check it out. So let me direct your attention to this clip. Now the PTS has a time of recording. It's down for maintenance, so I don't have a live example for you guys. So apologies for that. So this is my point of view with me dueling. I want to buy my dog here on the PTS on the Arcanist class. Now, the skill we're talking about is Fake Carver. So Fake Carver is arguably your best skill in the entire kit. Um, it is very difficult to use, but if used correctly, it does put out a lot of damage. But the thing is, it's supposed to do damage every 0.3 seconds. So over one second's time, you should see three instances of damage numbers. And as you can already tell, it is missing quite a bit. And you may say, well, that's that's just your aiming, your controller, your trash work rugs. Well, let me go back just a few frames j just now. Let's go here. We're going to slow the clip down. I'm going to show you my point of view. So, yeah, arguably I'm missing him right here. But look at this. I'm directly on top of him pretty much the entire time. This is like two seconds worth of channeling. And there is zero damage numbers. Go ahead and put this on repeat in case you want to see it again. This is a problem. Um, this is a big deal. So if you're not going to use this ability, you're going to toss on master weapons. You're not going to have any other damage otherwise because you don't have a burst hitting ability. You do not have um, a heavy hitting dot. You know, uh, entropy hits harder than your only dot on your class. And there's really nothing you can do. So you have to toss on like invade shrine weapons or... You know, Master Dual Wielder, this is from PvP, mind you, not necessarily PvE. I don't think you'll actually use this in PvE, but this example right here just shows you what an issue the Arcanist is going to have. Now, whether or not this is only applicable to the PTS, I don't know. Maybe when it comes to a live server, it will be, you know, better. Um, I will say at the time of recording that, I had like 90 ping, and one by my dog also had like 90 ping. So, you know, we're, we're in the same country, pretty much the same time zone, almost, and it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, that's a problem. That is a server client thing, and I've noticed amalgamation of issues with you know a lot of players, like positioning wise. Um, I wish I could show you his point of view. His point of view, it looked like I, I I I had no thumbs. Like he was over here, I was aiming over here, and it would do this crisscross action the entire time. And I I don't know if these servers are going to be able to like like keep up with. I I don't know, guys. Um, Things Zoss can do, if anyone is watching this or you want to go make a forum post, I would really appreciate that. If someone could start a forum post and be like, hey, you know, this this is something that, that, that needs to be fixed. Um, for one, you can make the AoE bigger um, for that ability. Because again, without that ability, you're not going to be bursting anyone in PvP. Uh, you're just not. Unless you're in a dueling ability and you're doing duels, duels you, you'll re rarely use this ability anyway. It's just kind of for the memes. It's actually really cool. It can pop off, but uh, typically in duels, you don't even run it because it's so easy to uh, to play around, you know, especially with the sidestep. All you think you do is sidestep it. And people know that, right? So um, you got to increase the AoE on it. Um, you got to increase the tracking. You have to make it to where instead of leading it off yourself, I think what you're going to have to do 
Zoss, you're watching this, you're gonna have to like pick a target and it has to like auto track on that target. I mean, that's gonna suck. That's gonna kind of take away from, you know, being able to, it has like a directional component as well. It goes up and down, left and right. There, there, there's all kinds of things that's really cool about it. I like having a skill shot to where you have to, you know, aim it. You know, obviously mouse and keyboard gets, uh, you know, an upper hand. Mouse and keyboard also gets aim assist, which I don't know why you guys need aim assist, but you know, it is what it is. It's gonna suck for us controller, you know, console players. But I mean, um, so that ability needs adjusted. Um, that, that's kind of what, what this video is about. Kind of bring a little bit of attention to it. Uh, if you guys can, you know, like, share the video, that would be uh, fan freaking tastic. And uh, when the class goes live, I want it to succeed because if the Arcanist is not a good, fun, playable class for in all realms of the Elder Scrolls Online, the game's gonna not be in a good state. There's plenty of other MMOs that will soon be releasing here in the next few months, which will pretty much just take the place of the Elder Scrolls Online. And I don't want to see that to happen, so it would be in Zoss's best interest to make this class as good as possible as not necessarily broken but as a fluent and make sure the class works there's not too many bugs such as this i don't know how they're going to fix that but i think that is a huge ongoing issue that um, definitely needs a lot of attention so with all that being said guys i mean that's it's really all i had to talk about in this video um, i put out a super long video the other day so i'm putting out a super short video today and just kind of let me know down in the comments what you guys think maybe some of the other abilities are bug i haven't been able to test everything on the pts but there are a lot of synergies on the class i'm also going to make a video of um the arcanist and how you kind of want to play it you know pros and cons and synergies of each skill so if you guys would like to see that hit the bell notification icon hit the like button and let me know down in the comments if i get enough likes on this video i'll just go ahead and make it i mean it's very simple but it would be very good to watch that video and understand the arcanist without playing you know on the pts for like 10 hours to really understand it. you know nice cliff notes version so um, as always guys a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members you guys are absolutely amazing and I appreciate each and every single one of you and uh, yeah hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch y'all in the next one peace I've seen people try it it's nice kind of big I kind of just been basing it off how much pressure they put up. Yeah. Yeah.